What's up, beautiful people? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a natural weed killing solution so that you can take care of all those pesky weeds that may be growing in your garden. Let's go! What's up, beautiful people? And welcome to another episode of Don't Keep Up With, Don't Keep, Don't Keep Up With the Joneses. Don't, don't Keep Up With the, Don't Keep Up With the Joneses. Don't Keep Up With, Don't Keep, Don't Keep Up With the Joneses. Don't, don't Keep Up With the, Don't Keep Up With the Joneses. <laughs> Alright great people, so we are in the last day for the video in this month of August and I said to myself, self, you cannot go into the month of September with those weeds growing in your backyard and really anywhere, okay? So in this video, I'm going to show you, like I said, how to create a organic solution because as you all know, I do gardening and I want to start gardening in the ground itself in the back so I do not want any pesky fertilizers growing along in the back especially with them being linked to cancer in some cases so organic is the way and organic is the way we're gonna go if you are new to this channel hello my name is Ricky Jones Jr. I love doing garden videos I do a couple of build videos here and there but I have a front yard garden and I have a backyard garden that I'm about to start and I would love to take you along the journey so go ahead and subscribe to the channel and you can be a part of it now let's go ahead and get to the solution so that I can show you what to do and then I'm gonna show you how to do it and then we gonna do it and then we gonna look at the progress okay all those things in this video let's create it so in order to make the solution you need a gallon of white fertilizer you also will need some salt you can also use Epsom salt as well and you will also need some soap suds type situation okay so I just use what I already have I did go and purchase these as you can see from Walmart which is very inexpensive this was like three dollars for this whole gallon and then this salt was like 49 cents so not bad at all you will also need a gallon pump and so one gallon pump or two gallon i mean hey you don't need a sprayer at the end of the day and so what i'm gonna do is just go ahead and take this uh top part off uh this is actually my first time using this bad boy so i'm excited about using this sprayer which i use it in other projects as well after I use it here and wash it down of course because I don't want what I'm doing now to be anywhere else and so I'm excited about using this solution and you may be wondering how does this work well it works because the vinegar and the salt itself dries out the uh, weeds and so you have the vinegar you have the salt Whoa, let me slow down. but then you use the soap suds to help for the solution to stick to the weeds and get down to the roots so that it can dry it all up and you'll have no more weeds when you go back out to where you once were and so that's in there and that's how the solution works at the end of the day it's just that simple um you want the weeds to dry out and when you have dried up weeds you will have no more weeds because of course we know everything needs water to grow Every need wa everything needs water to live and so when you take water out the equation you take life out and so essentially what you want to use is a cup and a half of salt which I'm gonna eyeball it because I have some pesky weeds in the back I'm okay with being a little bit over what I don't want to be is under uh, all right feel comfortable with that and then with the soap suds you can use a cup and I'm gonna just go ahead and give it a nice douse because again this part is used to allow for the solution to stick to the weeds until damage is done and weeds are gone all right so it's just that simple and making the solution and after you do this you just want to shake it up want to make sure everything is nice mixed more than anything you want to make sure your salt is mixed in there you don't want all the salt at the bottom so i'm gonna give it a nice turn a nice shake a nice mix we're gonna get it now yeah yeah get it now <laughs> Oh yeah, man, this is awesome. Ah, uh, and while I'm doing this, I wanna shout out the Garden family. We had a awesome live stream call on Saturday morning. It was fun just to see how excited people are about gardening, where they are gardening at, and where they are located. And we encourage each other, we inspire each other, and we remind each other that it only takes the ability to start. When you start, there is so much you can do. But when you do not start, when you do not begin, <laughs> You don't know where you can go or where you can grow. <laughs> All right, great people. So enough of that. I think we are good. I'm going to go ahead and give me some spring and pressure by pumping it up like so. I'm going to just go into there's resistance. And there is now. And let's go spray, y'all. All right, so my first problem area is right around here. So I'm going to give it a nice spray. Nice saturation. See how that turns out. Honestly, I don't like any of this. 
So I'm gonna just spray all of this as well. And which is why I was like, let me go ahead and get this spray pump so I wouldn't have to physically or manually pump this solution out of like a sprayer as I've used in other videos when I made solutions and things like this. And so this is so much easier, so much conducive for longevity. <laughs> But more than anything, well, great people, the battery went out on me as I was spraying. But nonetheless, what I will say is I gave this backyard a douse, okay? A spray is an understatement. I would say I highly saturated the backyard, okay? Because I have a lot of weeds growing along the fence and more uh, ugly over here in this area. Like, this is atrocious, okay? And so I spray, 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 spray this area down. And I'm excited about the results. Like I said, I'm gonna give it a couple of hours, maybe even three, just to let it, you know, permeate, saturate, and get into the roots, into the, you know, the stems and things like that. Because as I said, it, it's a drying mechanism. It dries and takes out the water that is in the plant. And as the water is stripped out, as the water is taken out, though shall the plants die, okay? And so that's what that's about and I do want to say make sure you be careful or make sure you're mindful as to where you are spraying the solution because it knows no plant it knows no good plant from a bad plant or a bad plant from a good plant so whatever plant you spray it along it will die okay it's it's just what it does now I did spray it about or excuse me I did spray it around a tree and so I'm gonna see if it takes the tree out which that would be crazy if it does that but i'll make sure i show you all what i'm talking about again two to three hours later from now more than anything i'm excited about the results that we are going to see in expectation of what it will do in this backyard area as well as in the front yard in the front yard area i spray again along this here path i spray in and around the here raised bed area i also sprayed over there this is over there where the tree is that I spray along. So we're going to see what happens to that in this whole scenario and things like that. But so with that being said, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And before you see the results, okay, subscribe and click that join button if you would like to join the garden family. Of course, like I said, we have great times together. We do different things. We do live streams. You get a lot of perks, okay? Click it and you'll see all the perks that you get before you join. But with that being said, let's give it some time to saturate before we check the results. Let's go. All right, great people. So we are a whole 24 hours after, yes, 24 hours. I allowed for it to do what it needed to do, which I can see, which I don't know if you can see like the full color difference, but it is dead. These grease, this grass, this area is now dead. And I probably can just pull up the weed itself let's even give it a, a look see you know just oh yeah oh that's dead oh that's dead that's as dead as a wig y'all look, look at this this is dead no good all gone which is so cool so you can even see the color difference see that's green and right next to it is a light to yellow uh it, it did what it needed to do even in this area remember we sprayed this and you can see the green foliage right here and the dead area right here that is where the roots are which ultimately i do want that to be dead which i probably could have left it but you know who wants dead tumbleweed looking stuff in your garden area i know i don't so i'm gonna go ahead and pull it up which i'll pull up the rest of the weeds as well and i can even show you all a color difference over here because remember we sprayed down this area as well and you can see even over there is green right here is dead i wanted to spray up along this uh, rock pathway that separates the driveway from the garden and so getting this little dead area out is what i did and so that is nice and dead i don't know how to get up dead grass so let me know in the comment section outside of using my hands um that's 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 all i know so let's even go over here and to the area where i sprayed as well before we go to the backyard because like i said i sprayed over here and i was wondering if it would kill the tree uh, but as you can see the tree is still live it's still well it's still green in its foliage but you can see the area around it is starting to die it's starting to receive the spray uh, more so on the leaves as opposed to the roots because i can see the top part of it being um, dying off not necessarily the whole area maybe if i leave it for a little while longer it'll further die so let's go to the back and see what it looks like back there oh so even before we get to the back area you can see where i sprayed as well it's starting to dry up it's not looking as green and vibrant as it once did it's still trying to take to these uh, vines growing along the uh, fence itself but i'm starting to see some drying out all right so coming back here where my phone or excuse me my uh camera died before i was able to fully 
show you all how I sprayed everything. It is not actually look like it's drying this area up as good as it did in the front. Um, thankfully, I can just, you know, do a nice little pull in a tug to get it all off. But I can see at the bottom, it is starting to dry up and things like that. Um, so, interesting. Which, yesterday wasn't really a sunny day. But you do want there to be a lot of sun to help dry up the solution on the leaves itself. And so maybe that has something to do with it. It was a very moist and humid day. Uh, maybe that contributed to the solution even running off, which is why you do use the soap solution so that it will stick to it. However, you know, nature does what nature does and it doesn't always do what you want it to do. <laughs> that is what we know. But I will say the solution does work. I'll continue to let it sit and do what it's supposed to do, which is dry up the leaves themselves. And then ultimately I'll use my hands and or whatever you recommend me to use and or do to get the weeds up. So we gave it a try. I know that it does work. It dries them out, but you will have to come back and clean up the weeds. Okay. They don't just disappear or dissipate. I don't know why that was a thought that I actually did have, but nonetheless, we do know you will have to go and get them up. Okay. Just like, I guess weed killer does. You have to round it up maybe that's why it's called roundup but anyway at the end of the day we know it can be done and we know how to do it okay so that is an organic and safe way to kill the weeds in your yard or in your garden area and remember spray only where you want it to kill it does not ask you if this is right or this is wrong it just kills and dries up what it is sprayed on so with that being said i love you all i appreciate you all i'm so excited about all that is to come we have some more fun 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 more videos that we are doing and of course it's all a stream okay so don't just watch one and think you're done no watch all of them because you'll see a thread and a theme going through each and every video okay love you all i appreciate you all see you on the next live uh call as we do live calls once a month and i'm excited about all they will do in the garden family so join subscribe and i'll see you in the next video Peace.